we're both rolling, so whenever you're ready, clap. <laughs> so having all of my original choices already taken, I took this opportunity to revisit the museum in search of a new favorite piece. Um, since I've been going there since I was a child, I had a few ideas in mind, but I was actually really excited to come across this piece by a Wisconsin artist, John Wildey. Besides its, you know, kind of wonderful composition, and I, I really enjoy his use of color, I like that he's positioned himself right in the center of the painting um, as the artist. Um, and to his left, he has this kind of mundane reality, I assume probably what his life probably looked like at the time. And then to his right, kind of commanding his view as the artist and our view as the viewer, um, this kind of fantastic, surreal world. Uh, you know, there's you know, nude women frolicking around, um, Roman ruins, a lot of animals are kind of scattered about uh, in this really kind of wonderful, peaceful scenario. And further, that he's positioned himself at the center, kind of outfitted as a jester or a jokester, which I believe probably pays homage to the time. He was one of the first um, artists of you know, the, the region and the time to kind of bring the surrealism and magical realism movement to the Midwest. So I think that's kind of really exciting. He had a very prolific career here in Wisconsin. Um, and finally, I mean, I think I'm kind of just drawn to art and this piece in particular because um, its ability to kind of transport you away. Um, I really enjoy art, you know, its ability to kind of take me out of my world, take me out of my mundane reality. And I think, you know, it's interesting to see a Wisconsin artist struggling with that same idea, you know, just 50 years ago. So it's really a lovely piece and I'm happy I found it. I'm Jessica Stieber. I am co-editor of Fine Line Magazine, also co-founder of the Armory Gallery and uh, an Art City contributor.